Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is so exciting. I've been wanting to film this video for so long and I'm finally getting around to doing it. And this is going to be my ultimate hair care routine video. I'm gonna basically be telling you guys all of my hair care secrets, showing you all of my favorite products that I've been using, some for like over 10 years probably, and then some are a little bit more new to me and whether high-end stuff is better than like Target stuff and just kind of my whole thoughts and opinions on how I keep these locks long and strong. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. We would love to have you join the fam. We are so close to hitting 500,000, which is kind of crazy. Hopefully we can hit it this year. That would be amazing and just like very surreal. So anyway, I just had to touch on that because it's been on my mind lately. Anyway, also I got my hair done yesterday. I go in probably once every three months or so, a little bit longer and get blonde touched up. Last time I started at the top and got more solid blonde on top. And this time we started at the bottom and did more of a balayage. So that is uh, what's going on with my hair. So she's fresh, she's clean and I love it. I also got a little bit of a trim. I am trying to grow my hair a little bit longer so I don't like to get too much taken off, but a trim every now and then is really important. So. That's a little hair update on the current situation. I love being blonde. I have really naturally dark hair and when I go blonde, I go really warm toned, which is unfortunate for blonde, but you know, you make do with what you can. I just prefer being blonde and I love it, especially for the spring and summer. Just to give you guys a little bit more of my hair history, I have really, really thick hair. As a kid, I always had like the most amount of hair ever and my natural hair is actually really wavy too so i have a theory that if i would were to cut my hair really short it would just like curl up which i won't be trying because i don't plan on cutting my hair short anytime soon but just so you guys know i have very like textured frizzy hair naturally that has a little bit of a wave to it in certain parts and then just really thick hair i used to get my hair thinned out as a kid not so much anymore because i've been able to maintain it and with coloring it i find that i don't need to do that as much but just so you guys know i will also pop up some pictures on the screen here so you guys can see what my hair has looked like a little bit over the years i had very long hair and then i started to color it i also went through a gray phase which was amazing i had so much fun with that hair it was so cool and now i'm just a little bit more into the natural solid blonde so that is what i've been going for more recently and i love it and um yeah let's go ahead and jump into the products that i love so i'm gonna start off probably with maintaining my hair color because i feel like that is something i get questions about a lot and i want to share with you guys the products that i love the first product that I have been using for about three years now is specifically for blondes and that is the From Easy Color Lover Dynamic Blonde Shampoo. If you guys are blonde, you know how important it is to have a really solid pigmented purple shampoo to tone the brassiness out of your hair. I love this one. I bought this huge bottle that came with a pump on Amazon for $25, which is an amazing deal. And previous to that, I bought it in a salon. So I have gone through one entire bottle. It lasts you forever. And the way I like to use this is probably like once every two weeks, I will take a bath and I'll actually run this through my hair and actually brush it all the way through and then kind of just tie it up in a clip and let it sit for 20 minutes plus. I have left this in my hair long enough for my hair to go gray, which I personally don't hate, but some people might be a little worried about that. So just forewarning, if you do leave it in a long time, your hair will go gray. Um, but if you like that, it works. And then over time, obviously it just gets rid of the brassiness. I love it. It is very, very dark and works really well. And the fact that you can get it on Amazon is such a great deal. So thought I'd mention that. I love this product so very much. And this is even the product that I always recommend to friends that come over and shower. If they're blonde, I'm like, you should use this. It's good. Try it out. <laughs> If you have color treated hair, I'm sure you guys have all heard about Olaplex. This is a range of products that I'm really into. They're a little bit newer, um, but this product is really widely loved by a lot of people with colored hair, but also um, hairstylists and everything too. So the Olaplex Hair Perfector number three is like a bonding agent. So this is like a, tr like a treatment and this is the product that I use after you know, it's been a while since I've visited the salon and I feel like my hair needs like a really good pick me up and just like strength builder. So I basically kind of use this the same way I would use my purple shampoo. I would run this through my hair and let it sit on your hair for, I don't know, it says minimum of 10 minutes. I probably do like half an hour because I would want it to really work. And it comes in a little bottle. You can buy these at Sephora. Also, I will have every product that I show you guys in today's video linked down below so you guys can go check them out. But this is like the treatment one. And then they recently, 
well, probably like last year, came out with the shampoo and conditioner to go with it. So these are the Bond Maintenance Shampoo and Conditioner. These are really great. I haven't used them a whole lot because I felt like my hair wasn't um, treated enough or one is as damaged if that makes sense. So I'll be using these more so now that I have gone a little bit blonder and they're just really, really hydrating. That's basically what they are. They're really good. And I just love the packaging. They're super cute. So if you have color treated hair, definitely look into these because they're really great quality and yeah, I'm excited to use them more. Switching gears now, I wanted to mention some of my more everyday products that are good for anyone, whether you have color treated hair or not. And they're also really affordable because they're available at Target. This is part of the Kristen S line. I love her product. She is a celebrity hairstylist. She does uh, Lauren Conrad's hair and Lucy Hale and like she's just goals. And I've been following her for years. So when she came out with the product line, I was so excited to try everything. And pretty much every time I go to Target now, I pick something up because there's always something new. And I've just been really impressed with a lot of her products. Some of them I haven't been, but a lot of them I have. So this one I obviously have because I'm mentioning it in the video. This is her Scalp Purifying Micellar Shampoo. I love the bottle because the tip is actually so easy to get into your scalp and really massage it in. I think that was so genius. And this is a deep cleansing, shine boosting, scalp hydrating, removes building, removes buildup, strand fortifying. This is really great. This is like a deep cleansing, shampoo if you guys use a lot of product or dry shampoo in your hair this is really great to use once a week to get it super super clean and i love the scent of all of her products and then another product that is pretty much from the same line this is the weightless hydration daily scalp and hair mask this is a root to tip hydration scalp rebalancing strand strengthening frizz minimizing soothing and softening there's so much going on with these products typically i would never use a hair mask anywhere above like mid-length of my hair just because i hate things in my root and i want to keep them free of most things but this one i actually do put all over my hair and then i even take a wet brush while i'm in the shower and comb it through just to really evenly coat all my hair and let that soak in and it has made my hair so flippin soft it is amazing if you're going to be straightening your hair it just feels so luxurious so soft and just like so beautiful so if you're looking for some good drugstore products that have salon quality definitely check these out i really do recommend both of these they're really good and they make your hair feel so good i should also just quickly mention that i try my best not to use really tight hair elastics anymore i switched over to scrunchies for the most part just to avoid breakage and everything i never sleep with my hair up that used to be a thing but now i definitely can't i always sleep with my hair down i don't use a silk pillowcase because i hate silk i just don't know why i just hate the fabric of silk so i just avoid that i just use a regular pillowcase although obviously silk is better for your hair if you're trying to grow it and stuff and for the most part I use a wet brush when I am doing my hair just because I have to brush through my hair after I get out of the shower because it is always so tangly and you want to make sure you're using a brush that is meant for wet hair because otherwise it can be really really damaging because your hair is most fragile when it's wet so I always make sure I do those steps and I try and avoid heat as much as I can and let my hair air dry but sometimes that doesn't always happen and I have to blow dry it Anyway, I just wanted to throw those things out there, but I wanted to mention a couple of hair masks. I know that last one was kind of like a hair mask, but these are my like other hair masks, if that makes sense. This one is from Trader Joe's, which is amazing. This is their Shea Butter and Co Coconut Oil Hair Mask. Moisturizes and revitalizes dry, damaged hair. I always find myself mixing this in a little bit with my conditioner, which is kind of funny because I do like my own little concoction. I'll like put in conditioner and then I'll take a little bit of this and just add it to the ends and let that sit and then wash it out. I really like this. I haven't tried it as like a full hair mask just because that's not really my vibe. I don't really do that because one time I tried a hair mask and it made my hair greasy for about a week and so I'm afraid of that. But other than that, I really like this. Very affordable at Trader Joe's. And another Kristen S product I wanted to recommend to you guys is her Strand Strengthening Reconstructive Moisture Mask. I've had this for a very long time. It's for all hair types and it's just like your regular hair mask. You take a little bit, add it to the ends, let it sit for, I think it's over five minutes. Allow it to sit on the hair for five minutes or longer if you have the time. I try my best to leave this in for quite a bit of time if I'm, you know, wanting my hair to actually get the full benefits. So thought I'd mention that because it's really good and I've been using it for... I don't know, it's lasted me quite a while because I always like, I have so many products that I'm sifting through so I'm never really using the same product until it's done. Like all my products last a really long time and that's actually one of the things when people come over, they're so excited to go in my shower because I have an abundance of products. It's actually shameful, but that's just how I work. I always like to change it up, you know, spice it up. Hopping out of the shower, I wanted to talk you guys through my holy grail styling products. The first one, I have been using this product 
since I was in grade six, obviously I've repurchased quite a few times, but it does last you a really, really long time. I used to find it pretty pricey just because it was the, one of those products that I always wanted to have. But if you're, you know, don't use too much, it lasts you a very, very long time. It's the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. It smooths and conditions, and it also is one of those helper with blow drying. So if you're going to be blow drying your hair, it helps speed up the process, or even air drying. I find that it just, it makes my hair so smooth and soft, and I just, I really, truly cannot live without this product. It's a serum, so I just applied in my damp hair through the ends. I love it so very much. It smells like watermelon, very tropical, and it's just, it's always been with me. So if I can recommend any product for like really smoothing out your hair and making it shiny and everything after you get out of the shower, it's this one. You should check it out. I also am very low, so I need to go buy a new one. The next thing I like to do out of the shower when my hair is still damp is apply a leave-in conditioner. This one is by Kristen S. Are we surprised? Probably not. I love this. It smells incredible. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase because I have another one to use up before this one but I might go back to this one because I have loved it and it has lasted a really really long time I think I bought it like last January so over a year it's really great I just do a couple spritzes at the end of my hair I never go into my root and then I brush through my hair to make it really smooth and also to detangle it's just it's really great especially if you have thick hair or color treated hair highly recommend a leave-in conditioner I have two more products before we go into hair tools this one is another one I will never ever Ever live without and that is Batiste dry shampoo I love this stuff with all my heart I found it really hard to find a dry shampoo that worked for me just because of my type of hair and I really wanted something that would soak up the oil really well and also give me a little bit of volume so this is that for me I've tried so many dry shampoos but I will never be without this one they have so many different fragrances so you can really find one that works for you this one smells really good this neon lights one and I also really like the tropical one but this is just a holy grail and I can't imagine my life without it. I bring it absolutely everywhere. I have a bunch of travel size ones too. It's just so good and it does leave a white cast for those of you if you don't like that. I personally don't mind that because I know it's working and I can just get rid of it. But if you don't like the white cast, then um, maybe pick up the brunette one, I guess. I don't know. I just love it, but be aware of that if you, that's not something you're into. The last product I had to mention in today's video is my heat protectant. I think using a heat protectant is so very important, especially when you heat style your hair as often as I do. This one has been my favorite. I love this. It's the Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer with argan oil and sunflower seed oil, and it has 10 benefits in one. Um, I will put a link so you can see what those 10 benefits are, but I just personally love this one because it is a dry oil. So this is going to be dry. It doesn't make your hair wet before you heat styling because I hated using the Tresemme one, I think it was Tresemme, that you like spray in your hair and then it literally made your hair steam when you went to go and curl it or straighten it. That's not safe. So this one is dry and you can let it soak into your hair. It also obviously adds shine and moisture and it protects your hair from heat styling and it comes out a nice, lovely mist. And it smells really good too. I love it. And it lasts you a really long time. I buy mine at Ulta. Okay, let's move on to hair tools. This bad boy is something that I purchased a couple months ago and I, so sorry, have not done a video on. I do really want to. I just haven't got around to it. I wanted to film this video first. So if you want to see how I use the Revlon Voluminizer Hair Dryer tool, let me know in the comments down below because I can show you guys like my blowout routine. But this product is so so dang cool. This tool is amazing if you guys are so busy and you really don't have time to like blow dry your hair and style it. This really does it all in one and I love it so very much. I wish I had this in college. I feel like I would have had a lot better hair days if I did have this and you guys have probably seen a few people on the internet do videos about it and I'm just a really big fan. It does take a little bit of getting used to. It is quite big and bulky, but it heats up really nicely. Obviously, you want to use your heat protectant and be careful when you use it just because it is a lot of heat. And if you concentrate it in one area, it's not going to be good. So just be aware. You kind of have to get used to it. But I do really love this and would highly recommend this if you're looking for a tool like this. And I have really long, thick hair, as I mentioned. So it takes me probably about 15 minutes to get a really good style. But if you have short hair, you would get your hair done so quickly with this. 
a couple months back my straightener actually died on me and it was honestly the worst thing ever because I love that straightener so much and I've had it for like quite a few years and so once that died I was looking on the market for something new and fun and fresh I tried the dry bar one but it didn't keep my hair straight long so I don't love that one if I wanted to mention that to you guys um that was pretty much the only one I tried before I tried this one. This is the Kristen S 3-in-1 straightener, I believe. So you can use it to straighten, curl, or wave your hair. I really only use it to straighten because I'm curling my hair with a straightener is very complicated and I'm just not skilled enough. So I love this. It's really great, very affordable from Target, very cute with the white and gold. And it's pretty heavy, so it feels really good quality to me. And I just like the size of the plates. I'm a big fan, it straightens my hair really nicely and also makes my hair straight for a very long time, so love that. Um, I'll have a link down below. It's really good. I love it. She has a bunch of other tools, but this is the only one I've tried. And then about a month after my straightener died, my curling wand died. It was great timing, loved it, but I realized that I actually caused the curling wand to break because I had been wrapping the cord around the curling wand which you're super not supposed to do because it strains the base of the cord and then over time we'll pull it and break it so my recommendation to you guys is to fold your cords such as this and then velcro them together anyway just thought I'd mention that because I was really sad and then I realized why and I was like <laughs> that was my fault anyway I was so fortunate enough to have t3 micro send me a bunch of hair tools which I'm so so grateful for they have such beautiful hair tools and the fact that they have this convertible collection is incredible and what that means is you basically purchase the base of your curling wand and then you can buy your separate attachments so I picked out three this is what the base looks like I'll have links to everything below I purchased the really big curling wand which is the one I will be using the most and already have been using the most it's so good and really great for longer hair I purchased a smaller one which looks like this a little bit more tapered which is good for tighter curls and waves and everything and then I also ventured out and got one with a clamp which I haven't used something with a clamp in a very very long time but I love it I tried it out this past weekend and it really gives you that like blowout look I'll have a shot on the screen so you guys can see what all three curls will look like on my hair I love it these are gonna be so fun to play around with I've had them for about a month and I've really enjoyed testing them all out and I'm just really thankful that they were able to send these to me because it literally saved my life and I'm so grateful and they're such good quality and I'm going to take very good care of them because I don't want them to break so that is my curling wand situation at the moment. Everything is so beautiful and I highly recommend it. They were also so kind and sent me one of their straighteners. This is the Single Pass Luxe Straightener and it's a little bit smaller than my Christian S one and definitely a lot lighter. So this one is going to be amazing for travel. It's so cute, very sleek and slim, but also works really great. I used it to straighten my hair and it lasted a really long time. It's just a little bit smaller so it takes me a little bit longer to do my hair, but if you have shorter hair or like less hair than me then this would be a really great one and last time I checked I believe it was on sale so I'm not sure if it still is but I love this one as well and I just I'm very blessed in the hair tool department right now and I'm feeling very lucky so I love heat styling my hair at the moment and I'm just really into it if you've made it this far in the video thank you so much I know this video is probably so long and I really appreciate you watching the whole thing and if you did make it this far leave me a comment down below what your favorite hair product or hair tool is your ultimate holy grail product that you can't live without or hair tool I definitely want to know what that is in the comments down below and I love it when we share those things so other people can get ideas or new recommendations to try and of course if you are not yet subscribed and you've made it this far you should probably subscribe by now um, yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.